Welcome to the overview this week, and this week it's all been about the response to the state budget. A state budget that plunges uh, the state into over a billion dollars of net debt. And we know the last time this happened was another Liberal government. In fact, the Liberal government of Gray in the 1980s and the Liberal government of Groom and Rundle in the 1990s. And it took Labor to come to power to pay it off and to get Tasmania back into a better financial position. Well, it looks like it's happening all over again. Labor leader Rebecca White gave an inspirational response outlining the values of Labor and how we in government would respond uh, to the challenges ahead. Two major initiatives. One, free TAFE, a great investment in the future of this, uh, this state, not only for young Tasmanians, um, but for all Tasmanians that want to get a vocational education and get a job. Uh, and it's a great investment for jobs and for our Tasmanian economy. Another major announcement was around mental health workers in our schools, in primary and high. We know mental health and trauma in schools is impacting significantly on young Tasmanians and their ability to learn and get ahead. We know this policy and this initiative will make an enormous difference to the mental health of young Tasmanians and also our education system. On Tuesday, the Auditor General released his report on emergency services and emergency departments across the state. A scathing report, a damning report. There has been an increase between 2013 and 2018 of 150% of ambulance ramping at our emergency departments. Between 2015 and 2018, there's been a 60% increase in adverse events. Now, adverse events means either deaths or near deaths. People are dying on this Health Minister's watch. Uh, upon, uh, in response to questioning, his response is, stop playing politics and work with us. Well, we've written to the Premier, we've written to the Minister time and time and time again asking to work together, and they've refused. And now the Auditor General report has shown writ large the condition the health system is in, particularly our emergency departments, and it's not good enough. We'll continue to fight for these issues. Uh, we'll continue to fight in the Parliament and in the community. Next week, we head to estimates where we really unpick what is uh, a House of Cards budget which is unravelling. Uh, they claim it's all about infrastructure, yet there's barely an increase in infrastructure spending. And on question, the pr Treasurer could not point to one new infrastructure investment that was announced in the budget. A lot to do. We'll let you know what's happening in the next couple of weeks in Parliament in the next instalment of the Overview.